Derek Chauvin, uh, the man convicted of murdering George, George Floyd. Now, last week, we had told you that he had been seriously injured after being stabbed in prison. And today, we are getting more information on that exact case. We hear that a federal inmate has been charged today with the attempted murder in the prison stabbing of Darren Chauvin. He is that former Minneapolis police officer convicted in the murder of George Floyd. John Tursak stabbed Chauvin 22 times in the law library at the Federal Correctional Institution in Tucson, Arizona, with what officials are saying was an improvised knife. And that's also according to federal prosecutors on this case. Tursak is a 52-year-old, and he told correctional officers that he would have killed Chauvin had they not responded so quickly. Again, that is more information from prosecutors. Tursak later also told the FBI agents that he'd been thinking about assaulting Chauvin for about a month because he is a high-profile inmate but denied wanting to kill him. Tursak told the agents that he attacked Chauvin on Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, as a symbolic connection to the Black Lives Matter movement and the, quote, black hand symbol associated with the Mexican Mafia gang. An attorney for Tursak was not listed in court records, and Tursak, who has represented himself in numerous court matters from prison, remained in custody on this Friday. Chauvin was 47 when he was sent to this correctional institution in Tucson from a maximum security Minnesota State Prison back in August of 2022. We'll keep you updated with the latest as we learn more, but this has been new breaking news on this Friday. More information, Derek Chauvin stabbed 22 times in an intentional assault by a fellow inmate in Tucson, Arizona.